the second time since I've uh, chaired the Blind Caucus that we've had uh, another uh, uh, country come into uh, the capital to uh, show off their, their wines. Uh, I don't believe uh, that other company, uh, other country has come anywhere near uh, the performance that uh, our Italian friends have, have put together. We thought that this would be a, a, a nice uh, opportunity to not only showcase uh, our friendship and our partnership with one of our greatest allies, uh, the, uh, the Italians, uh, but also to showcase uh, uh, the products that they're making. And they, they make a, uh, and th I'm saying this from the guy who represents the best wine in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they do a pretty good job. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I'm saying that not only from the Italian half of me, but you know, from the whole, from the whole. From the whole. So we thought it would be uh, nice to uh, to invite the ambassador in, and he said, "No, we've, I'm not coming in and, and, and doing a little deal. I'm bringing the best producers from my country in uh, to show you what we're able to do." And it's uh, I think it speaks volumes to the fact that when you talk about the wine community, it's a global community, and it's it's a great product. Uh, it's important to uh, all of our economies. And as I said, it just uh, highlights the fact that we have a great relationship with our, uh, with our Italian uh, colleagues. And uh, I'd like to ask uh, Dan Lundgren, the co-chair of the caucus, to say a couple of words, and then we're going to uh, introduce the ambassador. And I think we're here to do a very good We are. Uh, so that's why we're doing this at this particular time. Uh, there are those who say that members of Congress can never get together. There's nothing bipartisan. Well, the Wine Caucus is bipartisan. As a matter of fact, uh, Mike Kelly, I don't know if Mike is still here, he asked me, he said, how do you get to be a member of the Wine Caucus? And I said, you are. Uh, so we've got uh, another member of the Wine Caucus here today. This is a, a, a wonderful little restaurant. We're sorry that we had this absolutely scheduled so there would be no votes. We're supposed to be over at 6. We're supposed to be uh, here tomorrow. They moved the votes up to take care of it, so unfortunately we have to uh, go vote now, but you will have members, I was going to say straggling, but that's not quite the word to use. Or better than stumbling. <laughs> and they will be here, and I know they will enjoy it as much as we have. A great display of wonderful wines. Um, I'm not going to say second only to California, but uh, <laughs> since I'm also from California, a wine that um, joins the world together in uh, good times, and friendship. So we are happy to be here with you, and uh, again, this is a bipartisan welcome uh, to this side of Capitol Hill, which is, of course, the best side of Capitol Hill. <laughs> and I just want to clarify, uh, the Wine Caucus, bipartisan, uh, bipartisan, bicameral uh, Wine Caucus, it, it's spelled W-I-N-A. <laughs> Um, Ambassador, thank you very much. You really know how to put on a show. Uh, as I say, you're a great friend and, and, uh, and, and partner, and uh, we're pleased that you're here, and we're happy to be part of it. And I'd like to turn the uh, microphone over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. pleasure to welcome all of you to this great event here, promoted by the Italian Embassy and the Congressional Wine Caucus. So my warmest thanks go to the two co-chairmen of the Wine Caucus, Congressman Mike Thompson and Congressman Dan Lundgren for their enthusiasm and their support for this initiative. I'd also like to thank Verona Fiere and Vini Tani International, represented here tonight by the General Secretary, Ms. T.V. Kim. But my welcome and gratitude go to the outstanding Italian wine producers who have come here specifically to offer a sample of our highest quality wines. Let me mention them very briefly. Allegrini, Banfi, Ferrari, Gruppo Italiano Vini, Torre d'Ora, and Zoni. Now, if apple pie is the best icon of all things American, well then maybe, maybe great wine must truly be Italy's equivalent. It's all about pride, it's all about heritage, 
uh, it's all about history. And for us Italians, frankly speaking, wine is more than a drink, it's more than a beverage. It is a hallmark of our culture, of our art, of our life at this time. But frankly speaking, no country is without references, references to grapes or wine, even the founding part. Franklin, Benjamin Franklin once said that wine is a constant proof that God loves us <laughs> and wants us to be happy. <laughs> so let's say also wine is the for the Italian economy. The wine industry accounts for one fifth of the overall Italian economy. And last year, Italy strengthened its leading position on this market. Uh, the imports, the US imports of Italian wine increased by 16% and they now reach 1.5 billion dollars and we are now the number one uh, exporter to the US uh, both in terms of volume and of uh, uh, value. Uh, wine making is a dynamic and growing sector in the United States uh, as we know, California in particular, also other states and frankly we welcome that. There are new producers that are joining well-established producers. And this is frankly a, a wonderful development. We welcome that because we believe that greater <coughs> interaction between the producers of our two countries uh, are grounds for cultural and technological interaction to the benefit of both sides. So there's nothing wrong about having Italian wines here in front, in front of so many important companies. Uh, lastly, I have an important announcement to make. Uh, next year, 2013, will be the year of Italian culture in the United States. And this notion of culture that we have, frankly, goes beyond uh, art, paintings, and sculpture. It also includes uh, style life, includes uh, food, uh, fashion, and, of course, <coughs> wine. And as a matter of fact, we also want to showcase innovation research and technology, and wine, which is an essential element of our culture, binding the tradition with advanced research, is one, it's going to be one of the highlights of the plan of the initiatives we do next year for once again, 2015, the year of Italian culture in the United States. So let's do this again, somewhere, sometime, <laughs> but remember, and yeah, Quote someone. Uh, wine is sunlight held together by water. And these are not my words, uh, they are the words of Galileo Galilei, by the way, not a poet, but a scientist, and incidentally, the guy who told us that our world is round. So, what are the chances that he's wrong about wine? <laughs> 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 <laughs>